Do you need help with your swing blocking? For the best volleyball coaching and training advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. In the following video, you're going to discover the four things you need to focus on when it comes to swing blocking. These are the exact tips I use with my players, and now it's your turn. Number one, body rotation. Number two, jumping high. Number three, increased range. And number four, aggressiveness, body rotation. So with swing blocking, the body rotates as the blocker is getting in position to block. With traditional blocking, there isn't rotation. There's much less movement with traditional blocking. The blocker starts square to the net and jumps straight up. There may be side to side movement, but the blocker stays square to the net the entire time. So with swing blocking, there's more dynamic movement and more room for error. But since more can go wrong with swing blocking, the traditional blocking may be a better strategy for younger and experienced blockers. Jumping higher. When swing blocking, you may be able to jump a little higher because you're basically taking an approach to the ball. You're able to use your arms and get momentum to take you up higher. With traditional block, the focus is more on getting in a good position. You stand at the net with the hands up in front of you. You don't end up using the arms much at all. Increased range. With swing blocking, a blocker can start in the middle of the court and take steps quickly to get in position to block at the outside. There's proper footwork for both swing blocking and traditional blocking. With the traditional block, the blocker can have really good range if they have developed the proper footwork. So it's not just with swing blocking that footwork is important. Now if you haven't watched my video where I explain the specific skills to blocking, be sure you check it out. The link to watch it is in the description below and also in the cards in this video. Aggressiveness. You may feel players are more aggressive if they are swing blocking. However, I do believe blockers can be trained to be just as aggressive when standing at the net to jump up and stuff the ball. I think there isn't a right or wrong way to block. Either way can work, but what's important is for it to be done properly. So both methods are okay, it just depends on the athlete and the situation. Good players can do both because there are situations when one technique would be better to use than the other. For example, a blocker may not have enough time to do a full approach and swing block to get in position. It may be faster to just shuffle the feet. So if you're going to train your players to swing block, it's a good idea to become comfortable doing both. Most coaches aren't focused as much on teaching blocking because their players need to learn other skills such as hitting and passing. So blocking usually isn't practiced that much at the lower levels. Blocking is generally the last thing you need to learn how to do. This is why you see a lot of younger players blocking so poorly. Now if you haven't watched my video where I explain the difference between the swing block and the traditional block, be sure you check it out. The link to watch it is in the description below and also in the cards in this video. If you've been struggling with blocking or have a question related to blocking, please comment below with a follow-up question. Now you know how to swing block, but what about the specific steps you got to take to become a great blocker? I've created a checklist that covers the entire process of learning to block a volleyball. This covers everything you need to know to become a successful blocker. The link is below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your volleyball friends. And you can comment with the word helpful if you found this video has helped.